Welcome to another episode of Junior's World of Soul. I am back with a new video. You know what I'm saying? Before y'all do anything, like this video, subscribe to Junior's World of Soul. You know what I'm saying? Share, share it to people that love R&B music. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. Just show me some love. You know what I'm saying? Like it. You know what I mean? But, um... I'm coming in representing R&B the right way, the authentic way. As you can hear, I came in with Khalid's Up All Night. I like the joint because it's a nice little two-step. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's just a dope record. I talked about uh, Khalid on, on, on this show a couple of times. And he got a couple of bangers, you know what I'm saying? Like talk, I talked about. But this joint got a nice little two-step to it. So definitely would recommend you guys check that out. You know what I'm saying? And Khalid is one of the, you know, quote-unquote R&B artists that mainstream kind of accepts. You know what I'm saying? Because he do get played on pop stations. You know what I'm saying? But that's neither here nor there. But speaking of mainstream, you know what I'm saying? Welcome to Current R&B Bangers. Now, if you're new to Junior's World of Soul, Current R&B Bangers is all about showing mainstream that R&B is alive and well. Because, you know, mainstream really been given this narrative that R&B is dead and it seems like, you know, what I'm saying people are saying they can't find it and all this good stuff but me as an R&B lover I was like I need to do something to show people that R&B is alive and well and it's out here and it sucks that you know mainstream has pushed this genre to the bottom where it used to be one of the top you know what I'm saying genres of music but now we're being at the bottom and you know people really really not caring about it you know what I'm saying and I think that's completely unfair in my opinion so you know what I'm saying for me I was like no I gotta do something and this was starting in 2016 where I created current R&B bangers so every week I give you four to six bangers just to show y'all Yo, it's out here. Yeah, you might not be hearing it on the radio, and you might not, you know, mainstream might not be pushing it, but it's out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna continue to can, uh, I'm gonna continue to keep doing that. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to keep y'all too long. Like I say in every video, I got four joints this week. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully y'all enjoy it. Hopefully y'all go out and support it. All that good stuff. So let's get this started. Started off. Started off. Let's go. Here we go. Tell me when's the last time He noticed all the efforts Told you that you're looking good today hey, uh, Tell me when's the last time Hey, hey ah. Well The Germany born by the way of New York, I'm talking about Ro James. Now, if you've been a fan of current R&B bangers since I started in 2016, Ro James is one of the artists that I've talked about a lot on this show. You know what I'm saying? Um, he came out with permission in 2000 and the end of 2015. And I was like, I got to talk about this record. You know what I'm saying? And then I, I'm just a fan of him because... You know, I kind of put him in the same category as um, BJ the Chicago Kid and Anderson Pack, and I kind of called them the new soul rap pack because I felt like these dudes really have a, 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 a soulful artistry, but they're so current. You know what I'm saying? They they can connect to this young generation, the way they dress, the way they walk, the way they talk. And I was like, yo, these can be the new rap pack. You know what I'm saying? So I talked about Ro James so much on the show. I talked about um, his album El Dorado, which, you know, I think deserved a lot more <laughs> than it did. But even though it didn't get all the, the sales, but he did get a Grammy nomination for uh, Permission, which was definitely deserved. That song is dope. Um, he had uh, other joints on there. Um, uh, what was it? Uh, um, dang, I, dang, I can't think about it. Oh, my God. Um, and then he actually did the remix with BJ Chicago Kid. It's uh, already knew that. I talked about that. That was actually one of my favorites on the album. Um, it, yo, ri literally, check out you know, Ro James El Dorado was definitely a dope, dope, dope record. But, um, you know, so what I like about Ro is, you know, he just puts out single after single after single. You know what I'm saying? He uses his um, SoundCloud a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because I talked a lot of, uh, about a lot of his joints on SoundCloud. So, yo, I am just a fan of this dude. I feel like... You know what I mean? He deserves a lot more. I feel like the label should be pushing him a lot more because he's really a soulful dude, but he still has that new swag. 
And the last song I talked about with him was this song that you hear in the background, which is Last Time. He got a video out for it and all that good stuff. The joint is a dope joint. You know what I'm saying? You can't help but the move the joint. Like the beat is sick. You know what I'm saying? So he's dope. So, you know, anytime he has a new joint out, I'm like, I know it's going to be fire. And he blessed us with a new joint he came out with. Um, Last Friday, the joint is dope. When I heard it, I loved it. You know what I'm saying? If you're a Ro James fan, this song is gonna get you. The joint is called Touchy Feely, and the joint is a banger. And I was like, yo, I'm gonna talk about this. So uh, here's the first joint of Karambi Bangers. This is coming from Ro James, and here is Touchy Feely. Here we go. Give y'all a good sample of this one. Smoking fast and joking, laughing, you're up in my head, touching your leg, no, we all good. Hands on you, hands on me. I'm on you, she's on me. Hey, you met her, then put me uh. down for three. So touchy feeling. Yeah, yeah. That joint got a nice little groove to it, and again, I love, it has some, a soul to it. You know what I'm saying? It has a soul to it, but again, it has that current bounce to it. You can't hate on it. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to see him do this joint live, for real, for real. And like I said, Ro James is so consistent with his music. It's like, you can't help not be a fan of this dude. You know what I'm saying? He's really dope. Um, you know, um, he's on the joint with uh, Luke James and BJ the Chicago Kid. They got a joint. Him and Luke is mad cool with each other, so it's dope to see dudes that can really sing and have some talent, you know, chilling with each other. But Touchy Feely is, is a banger. Definitely had to talk about it. So this joint is on all streaming platforms. Please support Ro James. Like, he's really, really dope, man, and I really want him to win. So the first joint of Karambi Bangers coming from Ro James, and that's Touchy Feely. All righty, all righty. Where we going? Where we going? Where we at? Where we at? Okay. All right. Hey, uh, uh, bring it back, bring it back. My love's coming at ya, my love's coming at ya. Woo, what y'all know about that Melvin Moore right there, right there, right there. But this classic, because even though, shout out to Melvin Moore, shout out to Kashi, RIP to him. But um, this was actually written by Paul Lawrence, and um, it was also co-produced by uh, Kashif, R.I.P. to him again. But this segment is all about the legendary Paul Lawrence. Now, he's produced for so many people. Like, he produced this classic, Coming At You, from Melvin Moore. He produced um, Stephanie Mills, You Putting a Rush on Me. He produced Freddie Jackson's um, um, uh, uh, Jam Tonight. And um, he actually, and he did uh, Rock Me Tonight too. Rock Me Tonight, I think, yes, yes, I think he did that. And then also, my favorites coming from Evelyn Champagne King. And we're talking about I'm in Love and um, Love Come Down. So let me tell you something. When it comes to Paul Lawrence, y'all need to check the resume. The dude is definitely legendary. You know what I'm saying? But it bothers me that a lot of people don't talk about him because, in my opinion, when it came to the 80s, him and Kashif kind of created a sound in the early 80s that everybody was going for. So I definitely recommend you guys check out Paul Lawrence. But, um, my music sister, uh, Shamika Rhymes, who I feel like y'all definitely need to check out her YouTube channel. Um, check the rhymes. She checks. Oh, I say she checks. <laughs> but, um, her music interviews are so, so dope. She's interviewed uh, Kevin Ross. She interviewed uh, Troy Taylor. She interviewed uh, Calvin Richardson and so many others. And I'm going to put her uh, information in the more info box so y'all can go to her uh, Instagram page. Y'all can go to her Twitter page. But y'all definitely need to check out her YouTube page, which I'll put in the more info box. So, Shamika was telling me, she was like, yo, did you hear the joint from uh, the new joint from Paul Lawrence? And I was like, well, no, I didn't hear it. She was like, yo, he got a new artist, and I think the song is dope, and I think you should definitely check it out. So I said, okay, you know what I'm saying? I love when people send me things and see, like, check it out. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's bad, I'm going to let you know. If it ain't good, I'm like, hey, you know, I wasn't here for it. But I'm going to check it out. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, yo, check this out. So I was like, okay, cool. So let me tell you something. When I heard No Matter How You Rock It, 
I was like, I loved it. I loved it when I heard it um, last week. I heard it when before I went home, because I went home to Jersey to be with family. And I was like, yo, I got to play this for mom. You know what I'm saying? So, who was my music teacher? And I played this for her, and she was like, oh, my God, I like the beat. Who is this? I was like, okay, if mom like it, then we know we on to something. And this joint is just a banger. It's so smooth. You know what I'm saying? It's that grown swag. You know what I'm saying? And I liked it, and mom liked it. So, I'm like, you got two generations right there that really enjoyed it. But if mom didn't like it, I wouldn't have cared anyway, because I still was going to talk about it. How about that, mom? <laughs> Ooh, I almost broke my phone. See me talking bad of going, trying to go in on my mom, and I almost broke my phone. I'm sorry, ma. But, <laughs> but um, let me tell you something. No matter how you rock it, it's such a dope, dope record. And I was like, I gotta talk about this. So the artist that's singing on it, his name is Vincent Matthew. And, um, you know, I'm still learning more about him. He's an Asian guy. And I uh, saw the interview that, you know, uh, Paul did. I guess it's on Paul's YouTube channel. And he was talking about how, you know, Vincent really inspired him. Because, you know, uh, what I don't like about this generation, they try to say that our legendary producers are like has been and they not here for it anymore and all that. And, he, you know, Paul said he was feeling a little discouraged. But then he said when he heard Vincent, Matt, Vincent, he was like, yo, this dude, it's like he, he inspired him. And with them two coming together with a joint like this, I was like, this joint is dope. You know what I'm saying? So I'm so ready for, you know, when Vincent come out with an album. He's just that smooth, y'all. I really, 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 really a hype for more music from him. But this joint, no matter how you rock it, is a groove. And I don't care. You got to love this record. So definitely want to talk about this. So here's the second joint of Karambi Bangers coming from Paul Lawrence and Vincent Matthews. And here we go. Goes a little something like this. Like, y'all ain't gonna help but the groove to this joint. Here we go. See what you hear, what you get. Four tracks high. No matter how you're rocking, I'ma make you feel good tonight. Come on, baby. To your city. Hey. Hey. No matter how you're rocking, I'ma make you feel good tonight. Ooh, that's this Tonight. Hey, come on, man. You can't help that. That is a nice little groove. You can't help but not to stay still to that joint. It's so smooth. And like I said, when I first heard it, and when I heard Vincent Matthews, I was like, yo, this brother is going in. And the find I just do the Asian, I was like, whoa, it took me for, for a second. I was like, wow, okay. And dude is so talented. I want to find more music on him. But I'm going to keep searching for it. But please, y'all, please, please, please. This song proves right here this generation needs to stop talking about our legends and how they has been and all that. Paul Lawrence blessed Vincent. And they came together and they did a dope, dope record. So y'all, please go support no matter how you rock it. I'm telling you, it's a groove. You know what I'm saying? You got to have a red cup in your hand for this one. You can't help but to rock to it. And I love the record. I love the record. And that's why I wanted to talk about it. It's on all streaming platforms. Again, this is Paul Lawrence and Vincent Matthews. And no matter how you rock it. Woo! That joint is smooth, man. That joint even got me sweating a little bit. Let me take a little sip. <laughs> Alrighty. Here we go. We just flying through them, y'all. We flying through them to death. Who, who we going in on? All right. Hey, hey, is there something wrong? Hey, ha <laughs> ha. Well, the Highland born, but the California raised. I'm talking about Levin Khalid. Like, he comes from a musical family. Of, and it's like on all genres and it was so crazy how I was introduced uh, to Levine I was introduced to him actually by a Spotify playlist and it was this song something wrong and I was like yo this dude is dope okay let me check him out and when I did I started doing my research on him and Quincy Jones even co-signed him he was like yo he called the dude the future because he's very artistic and one thing you cannot disrespect the black 
architect of music, Quincy Jones, and if he's giving you the stamp, you somebody. And he gave the dude a stamp, and for me, of course, I had to, like, of course, when you get in the co-sign from Stevie Wonder, I mean, Stevie Wonder, Quincy Jones, that's enough for me. That's enough for me, but of course, I still had to do my research to see how talented dude was, and dude, dude was really, really talented. Um, I talked about maybe three of his songs on current Army Bangers. I talked about Something Wrong. I talked about Joy, and I talked about, uh, it was one more that I talked about. Oh God, I forgot, but it's off his album entitled Low Tide, and the joint is dope, very artistic. You can tell the dude, you can tell Levin is having fun, like he's having fun making music, and that's what it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yo, I'm making music with my homies, and it's a good thing. We just doing what we love, and he was like, I've been doing this for like 10 years. This is the interview that I saw. He was like, I was doing this for 10 years, and like I'm loving what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying, and and that's dope. And when you hear, you can tell they just be in the studio, just creating, and that's what that's what we need right now. People creating their own sound, not trying to sound like each other, you know what I'm saying. And um, but definitely check out his album Low Tide. He got some bangers on there. Mine, my pen, mad at you, something wrong, my offer. Um, what else he was on there? Dang, I keep forgetting, y'all. It's just, but check out his uh, album Low Tide. It's on all streaming platforms. I definitely recommend it for real, for real. But I was hyped. The Eleven got a new joint. The joint is so dope. It's definitely smooth. Definitely nice little beat to it. The joint is entitled One, Two, Three, Four. Get real, and um, I loved it. And that's why I was like, I'm gonna talk about it. So here's the third joint of current R&B bangers. This is coming from Eleven Khalid, and here is One, Two, Three, Four, Five. Get real. Here we go. Get to a nice point. Here we go. Give me one, two, three, four, five minutes and I'm down to slide. Right to the bed, if you're down to ride. Hey! Can we get real tonight? Can we, can we get real tonight? You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and this is him and his crew making music. You know what I'm saying? And it feels good. Like, when a record feels good and it make you want to move, that's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? And this joint is dope. It's on all streaming platforms. I love Levin Khalid's, his, I love his, his artistry. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. And I definitely, he's one of the young ones that's really coming through and really, you know, he, he has his own sound and that's what we need. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people now, what mainstream is hearing, and that's why a lot of people are complaining about R&B because everything sounds the same. Because everybody having the same producer give them the same song that they done gave to somebody else so they can have a hit. Like, come on, man. Y'all remember in the 90s with every, you know, different artist had their own sound. We need that again. You know what I mean? So, definitely, I I recommend y'all check out Levin Khalid. His new joint is a uh, one, two, three, four, five. Get real, and it's a nice bop. But I also recommend y'all check his other music too. But that joint is dope. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, all right, all righty. So let me put this down out of respect for this last one. We're gonna talk about. We're gonna take it to gospel. We're gonna take it to gospel so. Oh, y'all remember at a time, and this is really in the 90s, where, you know, gospel songs were part of the mainstream, you know, you know, mainstream world just as well. You know what I'm saying? Just spreading the good news to the, to the masses. You know what I'm saying? We don't even have that anymore. You know what I'm saying? It used to be a time, I remember at five years old when Addictive Love used to play, you know, on, on mainstream radio. And it would be playing after songs like, I Want to Set You Up, you know, um, by, um, what's their name? Uh, uh, oh, not for one. Dang, Color Me Bad. 
uh, let the beat hit him by um, uh, uh, Lisa Lisa and Nicole Jam and running back to you by Vanessa Williams. Or, and mind you, Addicted Love used to be in the middle of it and it became a number one record. Spreading good news. You know what I'm saying? And especially in the world that we're in right now, we a lot of people need Jesus. I mean, during that time when we listen to I Want to Set You Up, mind you, 11 and 12 year olds singing that, they need a song like Addictive Love to let you know, you know what I'm saying, you need a little Jesus after you want to set somebody up. This just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But um, I wanted to talk about this a little because I'm going to get a little personal. I love, you know what I'm saying, I love getting a little personal with y'all. But, um, I want to talk about my grandma. My grandma's not doing too well, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, it, it's been really hard for, you know, my family to deal with, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, one thing, you know, when somebody is sick and they're not doing too well, all they need is love. And I know my grandma is a lover of gospel music. I'm, I love gospel music because of her, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, ended up falling in love with, you know, she played Shirley Caesar a lot and all that. And as a young kid, you still want to be current. And that's how I ended up falling in love with the Winers and then falling in love with BB and Cece. You know what I'm saying? And it's because of her. So, you know, in the hospital right now, we're playing nothing but gospel music. And we're playing it. And, and you know what I'm saying? And it's just giving us inspiration because right now it's really, really tough. You know what I'm saying? Just to see somebody sick and you feel like helpless and you don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? So for me, you know what I'm saying? With us playing gospel music and we're playing it around the clock and it's just giving us a little bit of inspiration and we know our faith is good. You know what I'm saying? We know God is good and he can heal all things. You know what I'm saying? But um, it was crazy that, you know, when we got to the hospital one day and, you know, we was feeling a little down, especially, you know, knowing that my grandma is sick and seeing her like this. It's like, you know, you felt so discouraged and you felt helpless. And it was like, what can I do? And it was so crazy that this song by D Diedrich Haddon came on and it just made me get up. And I felt like I had to move. And, and it was like so crazy because my grandma was looking at me. And, you know, maybe five minutes ago, I'm just sitting there sad and, 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 and just feeling so, you know, defeated. And this song just did something to me and I just had to get up and I had to kind of like, yes, oh my God. And when I heard it, I was like, yo, this gave me really inspiration. And I was like, I know God is good. I know he can open doors. I know he can do things. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like we need that on mainstream radio, especially what we're going through right now with, you know, people getting infected with coronavirus and this flus. And, you know, 2020 hasn't really been good for a lot of people, including for my family. So it's like you need a little a little bit of inspiration. You know what I'm saying? And this song by DJ Cadden, Open Door Season. I know the song is like six months old, but it just did something to me. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to talk about this joint on Current Army Bangers and I'm going to, you know, definitely, definitely represent because I know at a time for me, it was like, you know, in the 90s and the 2000s, it was like gospel music really was mainstream. You know what I'm saying? We had the BBCC, we had the Kurt Franklin, we had, you know, then going to the 2000s, we had the Mary Mary and we had, you know, uh, the Kiki Sheard and we had all these artists that was getting played on mainstream radio and I feel like we need to get back to that. You know what I'm saying? Because we need inspiration right now, for real. But this song by Deidre Cadden really, really made me want to move. And I was like, I definitely want to talk about it. So this song is entitled Open Season. And it made me feel good. And hopefully it gives you a little bit of inspiration. So the last one of current R&B Bangers is coming from Deidre Cadden. And this is Open Door Seasons. <laughs> Like, to me, I could not believe when I heard the song. I was like, yo, I got to get up. I got to move. Because I'm like, 
it was so inspirational because I was like, yo, when you think a door is closed, God will open the door for you. I'm telling you, man, I've known this to happen. God can do miracles and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? So I really don't want people to feel discouraged. You know what I'm saying? I know, you know, 2020 has not been going right for a lot of people, but believe that God is always in your corner. And when you need a little inspiration, I'm telling y'all, you know what I'm saying? Open doors. Yeah, God will open doors. I'm trying to tell y'all for real. Believe it. He definitely will. You know what I'm saying? And then it got a nice little beat to it. You can't help but the mood to it. You know what I'm saying? And again, this song is six months old, but it did something for me. So hopefully, just hearing this song and hearing the chorus to it, you go and listen to it, and hopefully it can inspire you. So definitely recommend this for y'all. This is DJ Patton, and this is Open Door Season. Ha! <sighs> it feels so good to talk about gospel music, and it really, really inspires you, and that's why I want to talk about it on this episode of Current RB Bangers. But I gave y'all four dope joints this week, y'all. Four, four dope joints. It's Ro James with Touchy Feely, Paul Lawrence and Vincent um, Matthews with No Matter How You Rock It, uh, Levin Khalid with One, Two, Three, Four, Five, Get Real, and Deidre Haddon with Open Door Season. Y'all, R&B is alive and well. It will always be alive and well. Do not let mainstream give y'all this narrative where we have people like Young M.A. putting in things that I got what she was talking about, but at the end of the day, you know, R&B is here. It just sucks that you have to find it. But with us having the internet now and everybody's using the internet, there is no excuse to say that R&B is not alive and well because we have the internet. You have websites. You know I got soul. This is R&B, Singers Room, you know, Junior's World of Soul. You got so many people that's really representing R&B the right way, and they can lead you to, you know, other sites that's talking about R&B. But again, here at Junior's World of Soul, I'm going to represent R&B soul to the death of me, and I really, really want to appreciate y'all rocking with me, you know what I'm saying? Because it's hard. As an R&B lover, it's really hard for what... You know R&B is being respected right now. But well, I don't want to preach to y'all because I can preach about this all day long. But I'm going to get out of here because I love when I do current R&B bangers. I come in with a new joint, but I love to exit out with a classic. This classic, everybody should know, 40 years ago today, this song was number one on the R&B charts. It's a classic. And if you don't know this song, I'm going to look at you a little weird, for real, for real. And then I'm going to have to sit you in a the corner. Then you're going to have to run the lyrics. Then we can go about it. So here it's coming from the whispers. And it goes a little something like this. Just like my life, I got to the wrong part, but it's all good. Peace, y'all. I'm out.